Hi everyone, it's Dog Jenner Plays here, and today we're going to be taking a first look at Aeon's End. Uh, obviously, it's Steam sale season at the moment, and there's a lot of games on my wish list. Uh, literally, I got the notification there was about 100 games on my wish list which were on sale, so uh, there's going to be quite a few first looks coming up, I would imagine, over the next uh, week or so, two weeks maybe. Um, you know, once my wallet stops crying at least. Uh, anyway. Aeon's End is a deck building strategy game, and that's about all I know at the moment. It's been on my wish list for a long, long time. It's down very, very cheap at the moment, so I figured I'd pick it up and have a go of it. So, I'm going to go through the how to play bit, um, and then I'm going to jump into a quick game, depending on how long it's going to take. But with all first looks, it all does depend on what sort of content is available within the first kind of 20 minutes to half an hour or so, depending on what we're going to get from it. Um, and then we will uh, jump into maybe another game a little bit later for another video. Um, other than that, if you want to see the links to this course, they'll be down in the description, as will Twitch, Twitter, and Discord links for myself. Uh, it'd be nice if you could click one of those. Helps out the channel, helps out me, and thank you very much for that. All right, other than that, how to play. Let's go. It's very loud, actually. I might have to turn the sound down. Okay, so how to play. This isn't the end of the world. That already happened. This is what's left. Us, Gravehold, and the Nameless. Creatures seeking to snatch what little we have left from our grasp, the breath in our lungs, the weak light in our eyes. For generations we have taken refuge in an ancient and haunted place, one whose first purpose was forgotten for a thousand ages, until our exodus once again filled its empty halls and hovels with our shadows. Here in the darkness we seek a way back to the light. It has taken the Breach Mages and Aeon to fight, hone their dark craft, but they are ready, they are lethal. The Breaches, the very conduits through which the Nameless travel, have become our weapon. The Breach Mages wield this power with undeniable ambition. To survive, to take back the world that was, to protect our home. Okay, uh, so Aeon's End is a cooperative deck building game where your deck is never shuffled. Your goal is to defeat the Nemesis before your home, Gravehold, is overrun or the Mages are exhausted. Each round, the Breach Mages and the Nemesis will take turns in a random order. During your turn, you will be able to cast spells, acquire additional gems, relics and spells from the supply, manipulate your spellcasting breaches and use your unique abilities. All of the different nemeses in the game are unique in the actions taken during your turns and will require a different strategy to be depleted. Okay. Uh, so, gameplay. The game screen is organised into four main areas. Okay. The nemesis is in the top left, so that's uh, there. Okay. And the supply is in the top right, which is this bit here or this bit here. Other mage. Okay. At the bottom left is the mage whose turn it is, or who went last if it's a nemesis turn, or other mages if any are shown in the bottom right. Other mage, there we go, okay. Uh, the menu bar across the top provides important information about the state of the game. Many elements on the game screen can be hovered over, clicked on, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's go for the reference then. Right click a mage in the new game screen to see their mat. The same information on the mat is displayed during the game. Okay. Let's play the tutorial, and let's hope we get an idea. Good lord, that was loud. Right, greetings, traveller. My name is Brahma, and I am a Breach Mage Elder. I wish we were meeting in happier times, but here we are. You must help us save Gravehold from the evil nemesis, Rageborn. Well, you sound edgy as hell. Okay. I will help you guide two young mages, Jian and Mist. Your goal is to defeat the nemesis and protect Gravehold at all costs. In the chaos of battle, anything can happen. Look at the top of the screen to see whose turn will next occur. So it is this person's turn next. Right. The fates have ordained that Mist will begin the fight. She is a dagger captain with a fierce spirit. If you're ever not sure what to do, look for my help in the bottom right. Your hand is at the bottom of the screen, which is this bit down here. Play the gems to gain Aether, uh, which is that funny symbol. I've seen that symbol before. I can't remember where exactly. Okay, uh, so you can gain more powerful cards from the supply in the top right, which is this bit here. Click or drag gem cards to your play area. So these are gem cards, yep, to my play area. We'll need as much as possible, so let's play them all. Great work. Now you can supply, uh, gain cards from the supply in the top right. With four Aether, you can gain uh, either afford two Jades or one Diamond Cluster. Right. Uh, two Jades or one Diamond Cluster. So it's either of these. So I'm going to go one Diamond Cluster. If this is the second time you play Diamond Cluster, you gain this from two Aether. Or you gain two of those. Alright. So if I take two of those... That fills my deck, my heart, my hand, my, my deck, yes. You're making excellent progress. There's one card left in your hand, and it's a spell. Spells are weapons, uh, best weapons against the Nemesis. Prep the spell into your open breach. There. 
That's all Miss can do for now. Uh, uh, already you've improved your deck and prepared for attack. Let's end the turn by discarding and drawing cards. Right, so we end turn, they get discarded, we draw five more. At the end of your turn, you discard your played gems and relics, then drop to five cards. Now let's see whose turn it is next. It's going to be his, of course. It is as I feared. Rageborn is about to attack. The top card of the Nemesis deck is drawn. Gravehold suffers three damage. Okay. Okay, Rageborn played an attack card, so it took effect immediately. Unleash and a Fury token. That's bad, but we can worry about that later. Gravehold suffered three damage and now is 32 life. As you can see at the top of the screen, we must fight back. So that's 32 life there. Okay, so now it's my turn on Gian. Uh, is young, it is true. She was made an orphan by the Nameless, but a great power lies within. As with Mist, we must play gems to gain Aether. Gain more cards and prepare spells for battles. You may do so in any order you wish. Okay, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this. It gives me three. Click or drag a card down to, scar, uh, to your discard to gain it. Well, I can only get this one at the moment, or I can get that, but that doesn't help me. So we'll take that. And that again. Right, and then I can deal one damage and one damage. You are a quick study indeed. We are halfway through the first round. Each of Rageborn, I'm oh, sorry, each of Rageborn, Jian, and Mist will get another turn. Click the turn button. Okay. It is Jian's turn again right away. As you can see, such things can happen in the Chaos of Battle. Be careful, as that can happen with the Nemesis too. Now your spells are ready to cast. Send them from the breaches to your enemy. That's fine. The Nemesis has been dealt two damage, is now 58 life, as you can see at the top of the screen, which is there. We must keep the heat on Rageborn. Prep your spells, play your gems, and this time gain a more powerful spell. Alright, so we play those. We will take this one here, which is two damage. Is that the only one we can get? Yes, I think so. And then we click these and these, and then end my turn. At the end of this turn, your deck was empty, so the discard pile is flipped over and becomes your deck. There's no shuffling. Now you've drawn the first new gem card you gained from the supply. Right, so his is power of three. The player with the most prep spell suffers two damage for each of their prep spells. Ow, ah, crap. This time Rachel played a power card. It does nothing right now, but in three more Nemesis turns, its effect will occur. Beware. Right, so I need to be wary of that. Miss spell is ready to cast. Aim true and send fire and fury against the Nameless. Aboom. Right. Mist has two spells in hand, but only one open breach. Spells can be prepped into breaches focused this turn. Focus your third by paying the mana or the ether cost, then prep a spark into it. Right, so it takes three to open it. So if I do that, that, uh, and focus. Right. Uh, so then we click that. Can we pop that one in there as well? We can. And end turn. So that's her turn done. It's now Nameless. Sorry, Rageborn. Now the power card has come down to two. It will take effect in two more Nemesis turns. Next, the Nemesis draws another card. Provoker. Gravehold suffers damage equal to the number of Fury tokens Rageborn has. That's not good. He's got two Fury. Right, an evil minion has appeared. It does nothing this turn, but its persistent effect will occur on every Nemesis turn until you destroy it. Oh, I've got to destroy it. Okay, now there is more than one target for your spells. You can damage either the minion or Nemesis. Or, or you can leave spells and open breaches to cast on a later turn. Keep in mind any spells in hand you want to prep. Right, so this one here gains two. So can I... Oh, right. Uh, we will attack this thing here. Lovely. Now that you've drawn a stronger source of ether, you can continue to grow your powers. There's only a little more I can teach you, as you must learn by doing. Right, so let's cast you, 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 you. Might as well go get them all. So we can do a six one here, which is while prepped during a main phase, you may spend two ether to cast any player's prepped spell and deal four damage. Deal two damage, deal each additional damage for each of your open breaches, which is quite nice. Uh, deal three damage, you may discard a card in your hand. Uh, if you do, any player gains one life. Ooh. Right, and I can obviously get these as well. This one here, gain one charge. What does charge do? I don't know yet. I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Uh, focus any player's breach, destroy this, or destroy this, and oh, that's quite nice. Uh, burning Opal gain three ether. You may discard a card in your hand. If you do, an ally draws a card. Okay. I think I'm going to take this one. Uh, I can't focus these anymore because I've run out now. Um, I 
take another one of those, though. That's fine. And we will end turn. I believe you're ready to learn about an important strategic element. At the end of your turn, you discard your played gems and relics. Choose the order wisely, since your discard becomes your deck and is not shuffled. You can plan your future turns if you're careful. Okay. So, I'm okay with those two being first, and then... Them. Okay, and then it is missed. Right. One of your spells is in a closed breach. You were able to prep it because you were focused that turn, but now you must cast it. It may not be left there, like spells and open breaches, but that's fine. I'm going to do that to them anyway. So that's fine. There is one more thing you can spend ether on. Charges for your ability. I didn't know I had an ability. Okay. Each charge costs two ether. When you're fully charged... Uh, sorry, and when fully charged, you can use your ability. Hover over the circular charge button to see what your ability does. Where's charge? This one? Guess that's my charge there, yeah. So, any ally draws four cards. Okay. Uh, right, so, I'm going to... Nobody has charge spells, so I'm going to cast that one, that one. Then that one, that one. That gives me six. So that must mean Jian has cast four, or do I have to fully charge this? I don't know. Um, I now can't cut that one because I've only got four ether. That's fine, though. I'll take a diamond cluster. And then... Nobody's got one prepped, and I don't need two. So I'll end turn there. Yeah, it's fine. I'll end that anyway. Uh, so I want the jade, jade, and yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now the power card has counted down to one. It will take effect on the next Nemesis turn. Okay. So he draws another card. To discard. Discard three cards in hand. Power two. Un Ooh. I was reading that. Another power has appeared. If uh, This one can be discarded if you can spare the resources on your turn. Okay. Last turn the Nemesis played another power card. This one has a two discard section. On your turn you can do what the card says to get rid of the power card. It's often wise to do so. So this one here is to discard three cards in my hand. So I can discard this one, for example. How do I discard it? Goes down there. I'll discard the one... Uh, I shouldn't have discarded the one damage, that's fine. But that's gone now. So then I can just cast these two and gain another gem. And then end my turn. We're good. So it's now my turn again. Now you're ready to defend Gravehold. I'll be here with more information when certain things come up. Also, you can click the help button in the bottom right. Okay. It's fine. Win the game by reducing Rageborn to zero life or by emptying its deck and having no Nemesis cards left in play. Okay. So he's still got 20 cards, which is a lot. Uh, however, if Gravehold ever reaches zero life, or all mages reach zero life, shown in their blood icon, uh, you will lose the game. Well, that's fine. Right, so you deal one damage. So I'll prep you. And I'll prep you. I'll then cast these two. I've only got two ether. Can I do this? No, I can't do that one. Yes, that's the only one that costs two, so I'll take that. Oh, and I get loads more cards. Lovely. Okay. I'll hit you. That's fine. Can I hit that? No, I can't. So I hit him then. That's fine. And I think... I mean, I can deal more damage... I can't do anything with it, so I might take two damage next turn because of that. Four damage, in fact. That was probably a mistake. I'm going to leave that in my hand, I think. I'll just play all gems, that's fine. Okay. Play all gems. So I've got five. Yeah, five there. I'll leave the spells for the moment. I can open this so that it's an open breach. Then do that. I've still got two, which I can't take any more of because I've, I've used all the twos. And then I'll end on oh no, I'll charge this as well. Uh, and then we'll discard that. Okay. Mist suffers damage. Okay. Ouch. Rageborn strikes. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So she takes more damage then. Oh, God. Right, so when Rageborn strikes, a special card is placed in the strike deck. 
and he loses three fury tokens. That's fine. This can happen directly from a card with rage bonus four or more fury tokens at the end of the nemesis turn. Okay. Right, if there are two nemesis turn orders cards in turn what? If there are Don't know what that card did. Because it went away too quickly. Uh can I see? No. I can't see this deck there. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, if there are two Nemesis turn order cards in the turn order discard pile, unleash two additional times. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's... Let's hit him. I don't think I'm going to beat him. But I'm going to try. Let's play... Right, if I play six, I can take one of the these two down the bottom here, or the fives. Play all my gems. Or I can play this. Doesn't help me in this case. Um, pop it there. I can still cast this one. Right, some spells are a special ability while they are prepped. In this case, Wildfire Whiplash should cast any spell, including itself or another major spell, worth spending two. I do have two. And. So that did a little bit of damage at least. That's fine. I've still got two. So his ability there is Black Mirror, which is a fantastic TV show. Um, cast any player's prep spell without a spell. So we'll charge that once. That's fine. And then it's uh, whose turn? Mists. Fantastic. So she's got two spells here as well. We can cast them both. Moving down to 46 health. Graveborn is still on 30. Let's play all my gems, which can be two, three, four, and then whatever that one is. Yeah, because I've got no prep spells, so we'll play all gems, that's fine. And then we'll prep that one. We now still have five, so we can take this one here, or this one here. So gain three, you may discard a card in hand. If you do an ally draws a card, deal three damage. You may discard a card, yeah, we'll take that one. So that's the end of that turn, I believe. Yeah, so discard, discard. It's fine. Okay. And it's Mist's turn again. Lovely. Right, so we'll deal one damage to you. And then we'll... If we play all gems, we get two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's not much we can do apart from taking maybe a four. Yeah, we'll take four and a three. Can't charge anything, so we're done there. And then discarding that order. That's better. It's quite a long tutorial, I appreciate, but uh, we're getting there slowly. Um, and we just play them all, it doesn't really matter. They're all just there now. Um, so we have six and a one of whatever that is. Gain an additional one that can be used to, that can only be used to gain a gem. I don't have any gems. So I've got six. Which is probably one of these. Deal two damage, yeah. Each of your open breaches. We'll take that one. That is fine. He's still got three fury, which is scaring me at the moment. Um, we will discard and discard. Got some spells now, finally. Right, to discard, spend seven ether. Power two is unleash. Oh, it keeps going away before I've finished reading it. Uh, any player suffers one damage. That player suffers one additional damage for each fury token Rageborn has. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's end that turn. Oh, no, cancel. I can still play. So, to... I can spend seven to discard it, but I don't have seven. I only have two. So, play all my gems. I'm then gonna... Just hit him, I think. Um, I've got nothing I can spend two on, but I'll charge this for the moment. That's my turn over, and it is mists again. Okay. So she doesn't have much in the way of gems. She's got three. Um, yeah, okay. Does not help me. So I can play this in here. And then I'll play this one in here. I can focus that one. Which doesn't help me, I don't think. Oh, maybe. Okay. And then... I need to... What do I need to do? I need to discard that one. There we go. Right, so we're good there. Oh, Cauterizer. When damage is dealt to this minion, reduce the damage to one. Right, okay. So he only takes one damage on that. That's fine. Oh, no, it's his turn. 
Right, uh, we'll take it on him. Uh, oh god. That's not good. Venomite. The player with the lowest life suffers two damage. Or any player discards... Oh, no. Okay, that's Gravehold taking five damage. That's not good either. His Fury is down to one, though, so that's fine. Or better, at least. Um, right, so that thing only takes one damage, doesn't it? I need, to, I need to just get rid of that, so that's fine. We'll play that two gem. Not great. Um, we can charge this. And then... Yeah, we'll do that. I don't see why I want to discard a card at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, we will now kill that. Because that was annoying. And then... Cast his deal four damage to that thing, which is good. So any player, um, yeah, I mean, needs to do more than that to it, essentially. Oh, I should have discarded it. Oh. Right, I will discard you. Oh, how do I discard it? Oh, it needs to be prepped. Um, I'll take one of those. It's not my turn. Uh, right. Yeah, that's fine. Mist suffers two damage, which is this person here. I can't discard. Oh, I can. That's fine. Right. So. Unleash twi- Oh, no. Back up to his three fury. That's fine. Let's go with Mist, then. She's on three health, which is not great. Um, but we can do oops, do some damage to this thing here. Okay. And then let's play all my gems. Uh, I don't have any prep spells. Oh, I do. Actually, cast any prep spell. So that is deal two damage. Hoping I can get rid of it. Right, you have the opportunity to destroy a card which removes it from the game entirely. It's good for removing weak cards like Spark and Crystal from your deck. Click a card to destroy it. Okay. I'll remove that. Not too sure why I'd want to do that, but I'll remove it. Uh, and then we can do that. It's not prepped, of course. We have three, which I can't... Oh, I can use. I can buy that. Spectral Echo do two damage. We'll take that. And then that's my turn done, isn't it? Because I can't cast that. So we'll get rid of that one, then that one. That's fine. Is it her turn again? It is. Oh, let's get rid of that thing. Right, that was actually quite scary. All right, playing all my gems. Uh, so we have a four here, which we can play. Focus any player's breach or destroy this, and Gravehold goes through life. That's fine. Deal two damage. I mean, I'll, I'll pop them both in there. Oh, can I not? Can't afford that one. No, I can. Is it not a card I can play? I thought it was a spell. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Uh, I have one that I can't use anything for, so I'll end my turn. Sis? Oh, okay. Uh, if I focus this one here, I think that's better for me. Right, and then we will discard, discard, discard. Right. Is it his turn next? No. It is Gian's turn next. This is a long old match. Right. Um, okay. Play all gems. That's fine. And then... I thought I was already focused. Ah. Okay. So it's not fully focused. It was just partially focused. I needed to open it. Uh, right. So let's play that one. I've still got two which I can't use anything for apart from that. Okay, your ability is fully charged. Click the circular charge button to use the ability at the appropriate time, or save it for later. That's fine. I'll save it for later until we've got a better one, because we've only got one damage there, or two damage there. I mean, two damage is two damage at the end of the day, but I'm going to save it. Uh, I can't cast that, so that's fine. I will end my turn and say, end anyway. And then we'll discard, discard. Right. So it's her turn now, that's good. 
Uh, so we can do two damage, was it? I think it might be two damage. And we must discard a destroyer card. So we'll destroy a crystal. It's only one thing that's fine. We'll play all the gems. Right, then we'll take that one and play that one. Yes, okay. And then we can open that one. So that's now fully open for her. That's good. We have one left which we can't use. We will uh, discard. There we go. Okay, it's now his turn again. Let's go, Gian. Right, so we'll pop you. You're fine. Charge and charge. Play all the gems. Uh, focusing it doesn't really help me. So I'll take a Spectral Echo and then end my turn. Although we could deal three damage. Might as well get him down to below 40. Uh, okay. I think we were able to do that twice then. That's interesting. Scorn. Grave holds up us three damage. It's a persistent. Or we unleash twice. Nine damage. Uh, I don't want him to unleash, but it's persistent. I've, I've got to take that one. I'm, I'm in trouble now, though. Right, lose four charges, unleash four times. Wow. Oh, no. She's dead. Right, the mage has been reduced to zero life, becoming exhausted. Rageborn has unleashed twice, and now you must destroy a breach. <sighs> wow, okay. You, may, you also lose all of your ability charges, but you must still carry on and fight for Graveborn. Okay, well, we'll destroy that one. Actually, destroyed, though, is bad. Oh, she's still there. Me? Uh, so I've got three ether, so I'll take another Spectral Echo. And then discard. She's exhausted though, should she not be dead? No, I can't. Oh no, is that. Lose four charges. What's a charge in this case? Ah, these are charges. Okay. Right, well, let's. I think I'm dead anyway. Um. Yeah, because he's going to constantly get those. I'm going to fully open that. Deal one damage from there. I've only got one ether, which is annoying me. I wanted, wanted two. Um, I can't do anything with one ether, so we will just discard. Please be my turn again. It is fantastic. Okay. So. Right, casting is to deal four damage. So it's down to two. Play all gems. I can now focus that, but I don't really want to. I don't need to. I've got five. Which means I can take one of those, deal three damage, and may discard a card in your hand. Any player gains one life, so I'll take that one. Just on the off chance, really. Okay, I'll see what that does now. Right, okay. Uh, we will then, yeah, discard, discard. It's fine. Please don't be his turn. Oh, it's her turn. Good. Right, we can do two damage to kill that thing. Oh, goodness, that was scary. Right, and then we can do two damage. Lovely. I'm going to skip destroying a card. Don't think I want to. We'll play all the gems. Uh, we will cast a prep spell, which is his. Six damage to him, you know, that's good. Okay, and then we will spark and destroy this. Gravehold needs three life. Okay, I've got four. So focus any player's breach. That's another one of those. We'll take that. And then we'll discard, discard. Okay, who's next? Him. Oh no. Unleash twice. Oh. Okay. I 
don't really want to do unleash. Um, play scorn back into play. Oh no, it's that thing. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I've still got unleashed as well. Play on the gems and then we'll take that. So that one is deal two damage and you may destroy a card in hand. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, we will get rid of that one. Oh, uh, I've got five. Right. We'll take that one, that's fine. But she's still exhausted, I don't know why she's still able to go. Right, I'm going to do that one. Needlemore, Gravehold suffers 2 damage. It's persistent as well. Oh no. Gravehold suffers 2 damage. Oh my god, this is tough. Right, uh, okay, so this one here. Or this one here. Like, I don't have much of a choice at the end of the day. I have to do that, so... Uh, I'll skip destroying your cards. Uh, play all my gems, and then that one. Okay, we've still got three, which doesn't give me a card, but I can charge one and then discard. Right, it's her turn again. Okay, so I'll do that. And then I'll discard that. So I think I did an extra damage. Two damage and one damage. Are you pain? Right, uh, I will destroy that one. Okay, play all gems. Oh, that's only one. Uh, right. Oh, I can't. That goes there. Right, if I focus his breach, no. I'll destroy this and grave hold three gains three life. That's fine. Right, I'll take a charge. Okay, whose turn is it? Miss turn. GM's turn, sorry. Right. So we will play all gems, that's fine. We've killed his other thing, which is great. I've still got three, which I can't buy anything with at the moment, because there's nothing for three, so I'll take a charge. And then hopefully, ah, it's not his turn, is it? Any player places their discard pile on top of the deck, shuffles it, and then destroys the top four cards of the deck. <gasps> Can I do it to him? Oh no. Right, let me read that again. That is a ridiculously powerful card. Ugh. Okay, I'm not too bothered about that one. I'm annoyed about that one. Okay. Two very good cards in there. Ouch. Oh my god. Alright, Jen suffers one damage. Right, okay. I mean, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. I don't see how. Well, that's not prepped. Is it not prepped? Oh, I've got to just go. Uh... It's not that one. Which one was it I just played? I don't know. I don't know how I can see which card that was. Uh, I don't want to destroy anything. Oh, no, I don't want to destroy anything. That's fine. Play on the gems. Let's pop these two in here. They're not great, but they'll do. I could then focus this, but I don't really need to. I would rather take this one here to have three life or... Whose turn is it now? It's me again. Okay. Play all the gems. Right, was it this one? No.
I don't particularly want to focus that one. I don't really care enough for that one. Um, I will take another one of these, though. Whose turn? Her turn. Okay. I'm surprised she's still going. Because she's supposed to be exhausted. Um, it's fine. I don't want to destroy anything at the moment. Let's pop that in there. No more gems. Uh, cast any prep spell. One damage, you bugger. It's fine. Okay. Uh, we will take that. So close to killing it. Oh, it's my turn again. Right, we'll play all the gems. Do that, and then discard. Oh, and I've got a six. So for a six, I could take one of these. I will take that. Whose turn? Oh, dear. Oh, my word. Uh, okay. That's painful. Oh, but that was his turn. Okay. So, I can take that one. Right. So, you may discard a card in your hand. Any player gains one life. Cast is just deal four damage. So, we'll take that one for four damage. And then... And then I'll discard that one. I don't want it to be him, I want it to be her, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, so let's play all my gems, and then... I want that one. Okay, so I've got four, which means I could gain another gem, or a focusing orb. I'll take this one. Ouch. Oh no. I don't want it to be Gravehold. Ah, so if she's exhausted, it means she can't take any more damage and it goes on to Gravehold. I get it. Right, we'll give it to GN, that's fine. Ouch. That's me. Ouch. That's me again. Unleash twice. Oh my word! These nemesis have some serious powers. Oh no. Well, that's me dead then. So, we can still play, but Gravehold is dead. Right, okay. Well, that's game over. Wow. I've got an achievement. I don't feel like I've achieved anything. <laughs> uh, right, so that's been a 39 minute video, I think. Maybe not, not quite that much after some editing down. Um, that's tough. I mean, uh, if I look at the statistics there, like, obviously lost. Phew. They both took 28 damage. Obviously, Graveborn took, Gravehold took 27. Damage, we did 87 damage to the enemies. That's not too bad. But obviously, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, I like the fact it gives you some global stats there. That's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, very much beginner. So, he, if he was beginner, wow. Anyway. Um, that is Aeon's End. Um, obviously on sale, so you can go check out the links in the description for that. It's only like 150 or something. It's not massively expensive. That's obviously in English pounds. Um, I don't know what it is in dollars, uh, so go check your regional equivalents. Um, yeah, go check it out. Links in the description while you're down there. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Massively helps out the channel. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.